good morning, good afternoon, and welcome. Welcome again to the Urban Monk Show live on A1R Radio and Brook TV. Broadcasting live from Monk Towers. Apologies if there's an issue with sound. I'm trying some new technology out here in the monastery. We've got some new technology, and I hope it's working okay. If not, I'm sure Dave will tell me. So, I want to talk tonight a little bit about surrender. I know the majority of people view surrender as a bit of a weakness, but it's really about surrendering to now, surrendering to the present moment. We've talked many times about what I term nowism, if you like, um, but really it's just about not identifying with the past or panicking and catastrophizing about the future. And one of the things that I think we all tend to do is we tend to live in a world where we're focusing more on the mind than we are on being present, the, the gratitude and the silence that we should get from living in the moment. One of the, the interesting things that I came across this week uh, listening to one of my uh, books, and it's very pertinent, is we are quite happy to live in a world of negativity and focus on what can go wrong rather than the pleasure of the moment and, and enjoying what's been happening. But I'm sure there's many of you, and I'm one of them in the world, that has an allergy to a certain type of food or a certain type of medication. If we have that, allergy do we continue to eat that food or take that medication and justify the illness well it's very much like the mind you know we think negative thoughts we have negative emotions and because of our need for identity we think that that's okay we continue with those negative thoughts we continue with that doubt anger fear and frustration yet we wouldn't take that medication we wouldn't eat that food. You know, I have an allergy to medication. I have to find an alternative. A lot of people have allergies to shellfish or other, other types of food. You know, you're on a plane and you can't fly for 11 and a half hours eating peanuts because somebody on the plane has got a peanut allergy. We don't carry on doing it because we know it's bad for us. But in terms of thought, negativity, doubt, fear, anxiety, we justify those thoughts because that gives us a sense of our identity. We think that that's who we actually are, when really all we are is that thing, that three-dimensional body I can talk about, the bag of meat and bones here in the present moment, right now. Problems in the future, they may well happen, but they'll happen now. Problems that happened in the past, happened in the past, but they happened in the now, when it was the now then. So in terms of thought and stress and problems, if you like, we tend to build them up into something massive. And it, that affects every part of life. You know, the person that I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago, the client that was imagining or fearing that his partner was having an affair and cheating on him, when it turned out really that he was pushing his thoughts and his mental attitude onto her because that's the way he was. He'd always been a bit of a Jack the Lad, as we say in England, a bit of a player. So because he was used to playing around or seeing different women at, at the same sort of time, he imagined that that's what she was doing because he was putting his sense of identity onto her, which caused him pain, caused him the stress and the anxiety. And it, it was self-made self-thought because he didn't take time to just be present so in in terms of that element whatever we're thinking you come across somebody in a, your job or in your personal life and they say something that annoys you or frustrates you or rubs you up the wrong way if you like the fact that we then want to sort of fight back or defend ourselves is simply the same kind of thing. We're identifying with the school teacher that used to dish out the cane or the, the corporal punishment as it was back in my day. We think back to how our parents brought it up. And so we're not going to go through that again. So we meet that other person 
with that same kind of energy. It's not their fault. That person that's said something that would go up the wrong way is mainly having a difficult situation or they're not as conscious or as enlightened as we are trying to be or the way we're, we're working towards living in the present moment, living in the now. So you have to accept that their actions are not really them. They're, that's their egoic mind. That's their set, sense of identity. And we take that on board and it becomes a battle. Somebody has got to lose. And if somebody's got to lose, then there's got to be a winner. And I'm not the one that's going to lose. You said something that's antagonized me or irritated me. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to fight my corner and prove that I'm right. Well, that really, again, is someone slipping out of nowism and identifying with that kind of victim mentality. We all know somebody that, that acts the victim all the time, somebody that is actually a victim all the time, and very often that's because of the mindset. You know, with the law of attraction, we talk about the vibration of the brain, vibration of the human body. If we're sending out vibes of being a victim, we're going to keep getting the vibes back and we're going to keep getting the vibrational energy of that victim. So in terms of antagonism or arguments, the thing to do, and it's, I'll slip this one in, if my mum's watching, she always used to say, a still tongue beats the devil. And that's very important, very pertinent. A still tongue beats the devil. So while that person says something that I rub you up or antagonise, really when you accept that it's not, really them, the meat and bones, it's them identifying with their egoic mind, then we need to just use the still tongue to beat the devil. And that's what we mean by surrender. We surrender to the moment. We surrender to now. We don't get involved in petty arguments or he said, she said, and the victim or the winner mentality. It's easy to engage if you like, because it gives us a sense of worth, it gives us a sense of existence. I'm important. I scored a point over that person. I won that argument. People in the audience or people at work or people in the bar know that I'm right. So it gives me an elevated level of status. Well, that level of status, that elevation of status is purely the mind. It's the mind guiding you, controlling you, and making you vibrate at that anxious, angry, frustrated, victim, winner, loser mentality, energy. It brings it all back in to us. So, for example, if, if for the sake of argument, I get involved in an altercation, verbal altercation with someone, and then at the end of the day, we separate. I will carry that baggage with me for however long. I will go home, tell my partner, or I'll tell my, my family, guess what, such and such said today, carrying it on for weeks and weeks. It's unnecessary. It's a time that's gone. If you look at the animal kingdom, animals will fight. They'll fight over territory. They'll fight over mating rights. Ducks will fight over a piece of water. But very often what happens is there's a spate of, of fury. One loses and it limps away. It will lie under a tree and it will stay in the same area as the, as the victor, if you like. They don't carry that animosity on. It, it's done. It's dusted. It's finished. It's forgotten about. In fact, reading one of Eckhart Tolle's books, he talks about you see two ducks on the water. They fight. They have a squabble and then they both sail away. Both birds then flap the wings, just get rid of that pent up energy and carry on sailing around as if nothing had happened. Unfortunately, humans aren't kind of wired that way. We will have an altercation and carry it with us. We will want to win. We'll always want to be the victor. We don't want anybody in the family to know that you've lost or friends, reputation, all that kind of stuff. It's, a, it's about getting away from that 
is about surrender. It's very, very important that it's not seen as weakness, it's seen as a strength. To surrender, to give in, to accept who you are, how the mind works, that now is the only time that really matters. That thing that's just happened is who egoic minds, or as Steve Peters, the author of The Chimp Paradox says, is two chimps having a fight. Two chimps having a fight. And that's the end of that. So, tonight, I want to focus on surrender, letting things go, living in the present moment, accept things as they are, and I wish you all well. Have a great week. It's been fantastic talk to you. I hope the sound's been all right. And I'll catch you all again in one hours in a week's time. Take care.